And basically people that were non-smokers but had a low omega-3 index had the same life expectancy as smokers with a high omega-3 index. Wow. I mean, if you look at their life expectancy curve, they're overlaid. I mean, it's like, I wish I could pull up the figure. It's wow. mind-blowing. And the only way you can get omega-3, is that from fish? So, no. Yes. Seafood is seafood is the, the major, that's, that's what's going to drive your omega-3 index. It needs to be EPA, DHA, that's from the marine sources. Um, ALA, the plant source of omega-3, can be converted into those two other omega-3 fatty acids, but very, very inefficiently. And so um, really you need to get the marine source. For people that are vegetarians or vegans, microalgae is the source of so microalgae oil. Mm -hmm. You have to take a lot of it. Wow. But studies have found that wow. so people with 4% omega-3 index, that's low. That's the actually, people in the U.S., the average omega-3 index is like 5%. Um, if you take two grams of omega-3, so supplemental omega-3 per day for, was it like three months or so, then, or three or four months, then you can go from a 4% low omega-3 index to a 8% high omega-3 index. And people that have an 8% omega-3 index have a five-year increased life expectancy compared to the people with low. Come on, really? If you really? think about Japan, Japan, they have a five-year increased life expectancy compared to the U.S. on average. They live a lot, live of, five, fi lot of fish in their, their diet. Their omega-3 index is 10%. Ours is 5%. So their average omega-3 index is 10%. Our average here in the U.S. is 